Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. This is our third of five parts, stories about epiphany. Remember what that is? We all know baby Jesus from Christmas. But epiphany, that little baby gets revealed as the powerful person that he is and becomes. The Savior, the Messiah, the one who decides when we die, if we go to heaven or hell. So it is week three. Remember last week, Jesus called some disciples from the Jordan River. Well, now Jesus has moved out of his town of Nazareth to a town of Capernaum, which is quite near Nazareth. Capernaum, though, is right on the Sea of Galilee. If you've read Bible stories or been to church, you've heard of the Sea of Galilee. Maybe you don't know exactly what that sea looks like. And here it is. Of course, in Jesus' day, didn't have all the tables, chairs, and umbrellas, but it did have palm trees. This is the Sea of Galilee. I took this picture on my trip to Israel, and it was a wonderful time. Well, Jesus in Capernaum goes down to the Sea of Galilee. And there, some of the disciples who have been with him were still with him. But Jesus doesn't want to stay in Capernaum anymore. Jesus wants to go beyond Capernaum. There's a statue of St. Peter with the Sea of Galilee in the back. Now, why is St. Peter's statue in Capernaum? He lived there too. So did his brother. So did two of his friends, James and John. These folks all became disciples of Jesus. Now, what did they do for a living? Do you know? They owned boats and they went fishing every day. And every day they brought in their fish and they sold it to restaurants and to fish stores. There were fishermen. And Jesus wanted them to go do something else. Jesus didn't want to teach just in Capernaum anymore. Jesus wanted to go to different towns around the area, all on the Sea of Galilee. And he was telling people there how to get right with God, how to be God's friend, how to get the blessings of being God's friend. And he said to these disciples, come, come with me. We're going places, we're going to take a trip, and we're going to tell people about the kingdom of God. Now, these disciples had busy lives. They had wives, they had families, they had businesses, catching fish. If God told you to go do something different, would you? Do you realize that God's the boss? God created the universe. Jesus is God on earth. If we understand that, then we would be willing to obey Jesus. Even if he called us to do something wild and crazy, even if he called us to do something that disrupts our lives. Those disciples, James and John, Andrew and Peter, they knew who Jesus was. They knew the power that Jesus had. And so they dropped what they were doing and followed him because Jesus is the man who must be obeyed. I hope you realize that too, that when Jesus 
tells us to do something, it's not just a suggestion or maybe good advice. No. Even if it's said lovingly and nicely, it's still in order because Jesus is the boss. Now, if you want to know what it's like for those disciples to be out on boats on the Sea of Galilee, here's a boat on the Sea of Galilee. Right now, these aren't fishing boats for the most part. There's some fishing in the Sea of Galilee, but there's a lot of tourist boats, party boats. Well, our group in Israel went out on a boat. We had a very nice service of Holy Communion there. And that is our group right on the boat. So, oh, if Jesus tells you, I want you to do something exciting. I want you to do something disruptive. I want you to do something difficult. I hope that you will say, okay, Jesus, because Jesus is the boss. He's the one who can bless us with peace and joy. He's the one who determines if we're going to live with him forever in heaven. So I think it's a good idea to obey him. Not everyone sees him as the man who must be obeyed. I hope you have the blessing to know that and obey. Well, that's our story for today, folks. Thank you for listening. I hope you invite your friends so we'll have more people listening next week. This is Pastor Mark, Flinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. God bless you this week.